Ah, the Fairly Odd Parents. Who could ever forget the second most popular show on Nickelodeon right behind SpongeBob? A lot of people say that the show was once good, but ever since Poof's debut in season 6, the show went down the hill and eventually gave up on the rules completely, to the point where anything could happen with no consequences whatsoever. While that is true, it's not like the first five seasons were completely flawless either. There are some bad episodes here and there. Some I agree with, some I don't. But what you probably didn't know is that the Fairly Odd Parents has had bad episodes since literally the very beginning. I'm talking as far back as episode one, The Big Problem. Oh, this episode's a big problem, all right, I'll tell you what. And it's put me in a rather interesting position because... While I think that this episode is bad, it's got a lot of praise going for it that, to be frank, I don't think that it's really earned. People actually like this episode to the point where they consider it one of their all-time favorites of the whole series. And I don't mean to be disrespectful to those who like the episode, but I have to ask, why? Why do you people like it? I mean, if it was a guilty pleasure or something, then I would sort of understand. But with the way the episode is structured, seeing Timmy constantly suffering all the downsides of adult life, nearly losing his godparents, the tears, the pain, the misery, I could never understand why this episode is held up there as one of the best of the bunch. Let's delve deeper and you'll see what I mean. So we start off with Timmy's parents leaving Vicky to babysit him, and being fed up with it all, Timmy wishes he was an adult so he could be his own man. The way he envisioned it made it seem like we were in for something special, interesting, or dare I say, watchable. But what we ended up getting was... <laughs> Disappointing. I'm sorry, but I'm not a huge fan of Timmy's adult design here. It just looks gross, for lack of a better word. And it's only going to get worse from here. He gets stuck in traffic, gets pepper sprayed by an old lady, gets disgusted by a romance movie, hurts himself shaving, is unable to pay for food in a restaurant, and makes a waiter cry after asking if he ever finished college. And it quickly becomes hard to watch. And it's kind of weird seeing Vicky get freaked out when she sees that Timmy ran away. Seems like she actually cared for his safety back then. And what's even weirder is that I actually believe her intentions here. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm so used to seeing her abuse Timmy on a regular basis, but that's not relevant here. At the end of this semi-montage, Timmy is worn out and Wanda assures him that things should get better. The next day, he sees Francis, who I guess is the school bully, picking on Chester and AJ and tries to put a stop to it. But Francis plays the victim and sends the cops running Timmy's way. Then Cosmo and Wanda get notified that they have to leave Timmy because he's an adult now. So they try to get Timmy acting like a kid to prevent that from happening, but that doesn't work. He sees Vicky, who mistakes him for a stranger, gets thrown in jail, and this is where the episode completely hits rock bottom. It insinuates that adult life is going to be all doom and gloom, and never get any better. While, yes, adult life can be hard and insufferable in many scenarios, it never shows Timmy having one good moment come out of being an adult. Not even once. And seeing him this miserable, crying after being so defeated by the world around him is just unpleasant to watch. I didn't like seeing this as a kid, and I certainly don't like seeing it now. But apparently it was the thing they needed to help Timmy get back to normal. Yay! So the guy from earlier becomes the new kid's fairy godparent. Timmy is let free while everyone else is still miserable. Ugh. Vicky is happy to see Timmy, and Francis learns how fun shaving can be. Okay, so final thoughts here. How would I make this episode work? Simple. Make it less depressing. Don't show Timmy's adult life being all pain and misery, as if they're implying that adult life is going to suck at all times. You want to see this episode done better? Watch Channel Chasers. Because for one, Timmy's adult form looks more on model, two, the adult life is structured better, and three, it's written by the same guy, Steve Marmel. Guess even he wasn't too proud of his first take on this concept and wanted a do-over. So, uh, you see why I think this episode is bad now? If you still like it regardless of everything I just said, uh, good on you. I definitely can't, and I know a few people who can't either. For me, personally, this is definitely going to be in my top 10 worst Fairly Odd Parents episodes of all time. If you ever decide to binge watch the whole series, this one's a definite skip. I'd recommend starting with either the 1998 pilot from the Oh Yeah cartoon series, or its sister episode, Power Mad. Those are good episodes to start with. Season 1 was pretty dull, and it wouldn't be until somewhere in Season 2 when the series would actually start being a show worth watching.